be the studio production area. This is one of four rooms that could be used for offices. This is the second room that could be used as an office space. This is another room that can also be used as office space. This is the bathroom area. Here we have the kitchen area. This is another area that can be used for office or for conference room space. I know the Rice, they came all the way from Iowa and Rice, so it was a blessing to have you to all be able to come today. I know we. that PMA is a missionary mission organization that uses airplanes. So they have since visited the Philippines every year since then, and this time he decided to visit Micronesia. We are so very thankful that he did not give up, because when he was in Iowa, the plane, was, the plane that, he was supposed to, that was supposed to bring him to Honolulu got bankrupt, and so everything changed. He was supposed to go Panape, Palau, Yap, Guam, and then back to Honolulu. So everything changed after that. But we thank God that, um, as I had mentioned to him, that God's, that man's disappointments are God's appointments. 
and God's delays are not his denials. Thank you, Pastor, for for not giving up and for coming and blessing us. So please come and share. Pastor Charles and Pastor Stephanie Wright. This is Bishop Vincent Matthews from South Africa First Jurisdiction. I just want to congratulate you on 10 years of missions serving people around the world. As you know, you visited us in South Africa in 2010. You guys were a blessing. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. It's not always easy, but it's worth it. Remember Galatians 6 verse 9, that be not deceived, God is not mine. Whatsoever you sow, you shall also reap. But more so, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. Keep fighting a good fight. God bless you all. And come back to South Africa. you've done here in the Dominican Republic and what you've done in other nations. You all are a blessing. We pray, pray that God uh, continues to bless you with more years um, serving the people of this world because we know that you're going to many more nations. And we just want to say we love you and we wish we could be there. But, Felicidades.
approach to any people. Amen. We stand for truth. Amen. And God's word does not change. Holiness was right then, it's still right now. Amen. And those of you who are new to this fellowship know this that we stand for holiness. God for your heart for missions, you know, for the downtrodden, for those that are, you know, lesser and, and without, praise God, you, God has given you all a heart yes. for those people, and I just praise God for that, and I just thank God for what he's going to do, the best is yet to come. Thank you. Yes, and in Jesus' name, we take authority over the spirit of discouragement. We break its hold on you in Jesus' name. And we declare right now that you are free and that you're getting up from the place you're in and that you're moving on in Jesus' name. We come against every hindering spirit, every force that would try to bind you up. And we declare, and you begin to say with me, no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Though the weapons are formed, they will not prosper. Begin to embrace this moment. Yes. This is a moment ordained by God for you. Yes. Shake off the dust. Yes. Tell the devil yes. his work is finished in your life. Yes. Begin to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God is turning your situation around. Yes. See breakthrough coming. Supernatural breakthrough. Yes. In is the name coming of Jesus. To you. when you can't trace him? Can you depend on him even when you cannot detect his presence? The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So God, I trust you. When I can't see my hand before my eyes, I trust you. Even when I'm, when, when I'm left to do it Myself, I trust you. Yeah. Even when the tools I have are worn out and they don't work very well, and I ain't got no more, I trust you. Yeah. Even when I've failed more times than I've succeeded, God, I still trust you. Yeah. Even when my flesh is weaker than my spirit, I still trust you. Yeah. Even when my options seem obsolete and my opportunities are obscure, God, I trust you. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody trust them yeah. on today? Uh -huh. It's nothing I can, I've done all that I can do 
And now I'm going to put my trust in I'm not just putting my faith in him because my faith now has been converted to trust. Now I'm going to trust him. I'm so committed. I will not throw him away. I will not throw her away. I will not throw it away. I will not throw away the vision God gave me. I will not throw away the new beginnings God gave me. I will not throw away the confidence that he gave me from the beginning. I will let my confidence be turned into trust and stand faithful to the commitment that he has made me a steward over. Your trust in God is like Mount Zion. It stands firm even in the presence of an earthquake. The earth can be removed, but it stands firm. Though the earth be removed, yet I will trust. I will stand firm in my commitment to God. I will put my confidence in Him. I don't care what's going on around me. One could, a thousand could be slain on my right side, ten thousand on my right, but God told me he will not come down me because I put my trust in him. Amen. It's going to be secure in him. He will save the unsaved. Yes, yes. He will change the unchangeable. Yes. Yeah. Amen. It will stand firm. He's going to stand. But you and I have to stand. Amen. Come. Huh. 